how do you treat people who are in authority? Do you belittle them, second guess them, treat them shamefully? Take a look at how David treated a king who was trying to kill him. In 1 Samuel 24, David's on the run. He has just escaped Saul because he had to go fight the Philistines. And now after Saul went and fought the Philistines, he was free to go back and find David. And he hears that he's in the wilderness of En Gedi. And so Saul takes 3,000 men to the wilderness of En Gedi. And there's all kinds of caves in there. There's a lot of good places to hide. Well, Saul's got to go relieve himself. And he wants to do that alone. So he says, I'm going to go in this cave over here and I'm going to relieve myself and I want you guys to watch so that no one comes in this cave. Well, Saul goes in there. He starts, you know, doing his thing. David was in the cave. All of David's men were in the cave, in the dark. And his men were like, this is it. God has given him in your hand. Kill him now. David approaches him and he maybe sets his robe off to the side and he cuts a piece off of Saul's robe. It doesn't kill him. It doesn't touch him. When Saul leaves the cave, when he's a distance away, David takes a big risk and says, Hey Saul, look, I tore some of your robe off. I could have killed you, but I'm not trying to kill you. And Saul repents. He says, I'm so sorry. You're right. I shouldn't be pursuing you. Promise that when you're king, he even knows David's supposed to be king, that you won't kill my relatives. And so he promises that. Interestingly enough, David goes back to the cave and Saul goes home. David literally felt bad about cutting part of the robe. See, he was the rightful king. Saul wasn't the one who God wanted to be king. But he says, I'm not going to touch God's anointed. That's God's business to take care of that leader who's not doing a good job. I'll lead when God gives me that leadership. And that's so opposite of what most Christians think. We think, well, I know better. I could do a better job. Most of us think we could do a better job than, than Tom Brady, his quarterback, or, or another quarterback that you might like. The truth is, we should respect those who are in authority, whether it's a police officer, or a, a politician, or a, whoever it is. We are supposed to respect those people. Think about today, all, how you've been treating people who are in authority. And maybe do some business with God and say, Lord, I'm sorry if I haven't been giving these people the credit because you put them in that position. And as long as they're there, they deserve my respect.